one of the things about being an artist is being able to open your mind and to imagine things. You always start out by trying to entertain yourself and then you extend that to hoping that you can capture the public's imagination. I grew up in Southern Pines. I guess I got there when I was in about the second grade. Of course, we wrangled a lot of sticks as children and kids know everything about sticks. They're a weapon, a tool, a piece of a wall. And so I got some initial introductions to the material that I eventually used. Being able to run around in, in the natural world and uh, you know, play in the woods next to our house, it just made a real impact. But I saw the immediate utility of trying to use these things, not just as uh, objects that came from the woods, but from, with lines with which to draw. So I like to make something that doesn't look man-made and tends to sweep around and, you know, and it has the potential of swooping through windows. You could take the window out and have it half outside, half inside. You can go from a building up into trees. You can work in the top of trees. Uh, you know, so there's just a lot of potential uh, with this material to, to uh, conglomerate it and to make visual excitement. I could have moved to New York. I could have moved to Washington, D.C. or L.A. and done my work there, but I love being rooted here. I started out here. I built a house here. I've been able to come back and enjoy the respite of living in the Triangle. You know, it's a very exciting community. There's something going on all the time. And, uh, you know, it's full of really credible artists. So uh, for me, this has been a, an unbelievable place to live. And uh, it's, North Carolina has been a nurturing state. And I think it's nurtured the arts and uh, it nurtured me.